Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to cast shadows So the first thing I want to do is get a knife or any object I want to add a shadow to and you know shadows are a good thing to add to make your photos look even more realistic So what I want to do is add a shadow to this knife here And I want to make sure that this is on its own separate layer just like that And what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this knife I'm gonna click it and hit control or command J to duplicate it or you can always click and drag it down to the new layer icon Now what I'm gonna do is go to edit free transform or control or command T then hold down controller command, select this middle anchor right here, and it'll allow us to move this knife around freely. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the light's coming from this direction, so I want the shadow to be down here. And I'm just going to put it at around there, hit enter, and maybe bring it up just a little bit. Now I'm going to take this knife copy and bring it below the actual knife layer, and I'm actually going to rename this to Knife Shadow. And now what I want to do is fill in this layer with black. So I'm going to hold down controller command and select the thumbnail of this knife shadow layer. This selects the knife. Now I'm going to go to edit, fill, and under contents use black, mode normal, 100% opacity, click OK. Now we can go ahead and deselect the selection by going to select, deselect, or control or command D. Then we want to add a nice little mask to this layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click add a layer mask to this knife shadow layer. We're going to go under the paint bucket tool and find the gradient tool. We're going to make sure that our default colors are set. White as a foreground, black as a background. And we want to choose the foreground to background here for the gradient. And I'm just going to simply start from the bottom here and go up. And you can see that it starts nice and black and just kind of fades out like you'd see a real shadow do. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the actual knife shadow is selected, not the layer mask. And go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and add a nice little Gaussian blur, maybe at around one and a half pixels. Click OK. And you can even take it a step further by going to the rectangular marquee tool, selecting the very end of the knife, going to select, modify, feather, add a nice little 20 pixel feather to this, then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and add a bigger blur, maybe at around three and a half pixels. Click OK, and then deselect. And you can see it's kind of not as blurry at the beginning here. And then it blurs out more and just kind of fades out. And then last, we can just decrease the opacity of the shadow here. And this should work on any background you throw at it. And have a nice little shadow for that knife. One other shadow I want to show you how to make is a nice little oval shadow underneath text to make it appear as if it's floating. So what we're going to do is select the elliptical marquee tool right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a nice little oval underneath this text. Remember, you can always hold down the space bar to move this around freely and then just let go of your mouse. Then be sure to create a new layer. Go to the paint bucket tool and fill the selection in with black. Now we can deselect control D and even go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and add a nice little blur to that, and then just bring down the opacity quite a bit. So there's a nice little shadow being cast from that text. So there you have it, casting shadows here in Photoshop. Hopefully you'll be able to use this in any of your future Photoshop projects. And remember, if you do create anything cool to upload it to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash robertsproductions. I'd like to see what you guys create by watching my videos. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe for free weekly tutorials just like this one. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.